Hi folks, welcome back to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. Well, we've got another 420 coming up on Friday, and I hope I'll, a lot of you out there will celebrate it in true fashion, as I'm sure you will. But uh, one thing we got to really get going and really reflect on and, and let this 420 statement become is, is our constitutional right to use this herb and and completely do away with all these laws. I mean, this this crackdown at the medicinal facilities in California here lately, the Oakster Dam bus and all that, I mean, this is absolutely insane. It just goes to show you that we've got a government that's running amok. They've been running amok for a long, long time, many, many decades, all of my adult life that I know of. And we've got to put a clamp on this and and really put it to the stop. All, everything they're doing is all based on lies. It's been based on lies from the absolute very beginning. Even when they formed the Marijuana Tax Act in 1937, that whole period was based on lies and all. And it just, it's been further strengthened through the Singles Narcotics Treaty in 1960 and then, and then more so with the Controlled Substance Act in 1970, the Drug Enforcement Agency. But all of these, this, this constant perpetuation of these lies about how dangerous cannabis is and that it, we need all this type of enforcement and it's just wrong. It's just absolutely wrong. And I hope 420, this 420 celebration across the world can become a constitutional expression for people to let them know, look, this is your God-given right to be able to use this herb. You, whether you choose to or not, it's your God-given right. And for us to allow a drug enforcement agency to operate at the level they're, they're doing and law enforcement to have the impunity that they operate under just for people that are possessing and using cannabis is absolutely ridiculous. And this, we don't even begin to touch the, the thousands upon thousands of people that have died, not only south of the border, from all of the violence associated with the people trying to control who's going to bring the cannabis to the United States, but also on this side of the border, also all of the, the people that have been sent to jail needlessly just because they got caught with pot and they got sent to jail and were gang raped by some AIDS infected inmates and they died in prison before their, their possession term was even up. This is just so wrong. It's so wrong in a society where we don't care if people drink alcohol, we don't care if they smoke cigarettes, we don't care how many people die from those. With those are absolutely legal. You can go and buy them just about in every corner of every street in America. Why would we concern ourselves and cause this much grief around the world over something that has harmed no one and has never sent anyone to the hospital. It's beyond me. It's beyond, you know, all of y'all out there, you want to talk about this, the people in this country are just so misguided about the truth and the, and the, they've been so brainwashed with all of these stupid facts about marijuana and the cannabis and all of that. And it's just, it's wrong. I mean, the statistic that nobody has ever been sent to the hospital at all, ever, should be an eye-opening to y'all. I mean, you can't even say that about aspirin. You can't even say that about water. There are people who have been sent to, to the emergency room that have drank too much water and overdosed on water. You can't say that about cannabis. You can't say that not one time, not one place, not anywhere in the entire continental United States and abroad for that matter, has there ever been anybody treated at an emergency room facility for a cannabis overdose or anything related to death that was caused by cannabis? It's never happened. The fact is, is because the amount you would have to consume is far too much than you would probably consume in an average person's lifetime. And that's how ridiculous it is. And yet we just stand back and all every time you try to talk to some people about cannabis and people on the streets that, that don't know anything about it, the first words out of their mouth is, oh, but it's illegal. No kidding, it's illegal. And for you to maintain that type of thinking and to think, so, oh, that's all I have to say is just it's illegal. Why don't you search and, and get on board and find out why the people that are pro-marijuana, pro-cannabis, what, what they're talking about, what they're fighting for. And it's not just because we want to sit around and get high and all that, like all the stupidity y'all generated and fabricated. It's nothing like that. It's the wrong. It's the it's the wrongness of the how it violates our constitutional rights. You don't care if people go and use alcohol, cigarettes, prescription drugs, whatever. Y'all don't care about any of that. Why would you be concerned in yourself about me using a safe herb that's never hurt anybody? Well, I don't understand that. Why is it even your business? Why is it anybody's business to decide that for me or for any other person for that matter? It's not. 
and they've been allowed to get away with these lies for a long, long time. And all of the grief, the pain, the suffering, the amount of money, my God, we could have fed all of the indigent poor around the world for the amount of money, the, the trillions and trillions of dollars that we have wasted and are continue to waste and are wasting at this very moment trying to eradicate cannabis from the planet. It's just absolutely insane. And the longer we keep it illegal, you have the stupidity of what's going on with these with the medicinal marijuana facilities and all the DEA and all these busts and stuff. It's just insane. This needs to be turned over completely legal, turned over to the free market as every other commodity out there, open up the hemp industry, and the jobless rate in America will disappear. But, you know, y'all can get past that stupid because you want to keep propagating these lies about cannabis and all, while the liquor and the whiskey and all that just flows through the streets. It's just, it's utterly amazing. It's simply utterly amazing. But we've got to stop this, and I hope this 420 celebration coming up Friday will be a wake-up to all of you out there that, that do smoke cannabis, that do use this herb, and that do realize the wrong of what's going on, and all the people that are affected by it and all that, because it's, it's severe. It's, it's, it's almost horrible. It's, it's worse than any wars. It's worse than anything out there. It is the drug war. It's, just, it's the worst possible things are going on to, to normal, everyday citizens that aren't doing anything more than exercising their own freedom and personal choice, the, the rights they were born with. So celebrate this 420. If you are a cannabis user, be proud of it. If you hear somebody talking about or dogging somebody that smokes cannabis or saying that they ought to be arrested on, educate them. Don't be ashamed to speak out in a crowd. Don't be ashamed to speak out in public. You hear somebody talk about it or, or, this, or they start referring to it as drugs or stuff like that. Correct them. It's an herb. It's not a drug. Drugs are pharmaceuticals that are made in a laboratory. Cannabis is made in nature on a plant and you don't have to do anything to it but dry it out and use the flower tops or, or any other part of that plant if you have, if, that you want. And the, this insanity has to stop. So let 420 be a reminder to you and I hope you all have a wonderful 420. I know what I'm going to be doing on 420 and I hope all of you out there will realize that it is our constitutional right. There is no law in the land, no matter where it came from and how I illegal it was contrived. There is no law in the land that stands to, that can stand against a person's own personal choice and their own personal rights. Fight for it. It's what we need. And I thank you for joining me.